Those who can, do. Those who can't, talk about those who can. Now, can you or can you not? No, you just want to sit on the sideline and talk about other people, or can you step up? What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great hump day and that you're getting over the hump. Um, working on this farmhouse um, in uh, Central Virginia and stuff, the cell service is not good there, and it takes forever to upload, but I've been working on that a bit before uh, we go to the uh, draft and stuff in two weeks. Two weeks from today, we'll be live streaming from someplace in Detroit with my man Game Time Brian in prime time. Uh, as well as well as David Wiley. So I cannot wait for all of that to happen. Um, it took me a while to get back home because there was an incident coming up the mountain. Uh, the state police had the, the, the high interstate shut down and about 18 police cars. And I can't wait to hear what that guy was wanted for. And I get back here and I'm trying to do a project. I'm trying to do something special, but it got too dark. And I was too tired to get into it. I'm still working on it and you're going to see it soon. I'm going to make sure I get back early tomorrow to do it because y'all will love it. All right. In the meantime, Cam Newton was on Club Shay Shay. I should have paid the $125 and saw Shannon Sharp when I was at the CSA show. But I was like, do I want to give Shannon Sharp $120? I was like, nah, I can't do that. But Club Shay Shay has the eccentric Cam Newton on who has some interesting words about the Dallas Cowboys, Jerry Jones, and Dak Prescott and what Dak Prescott needs to do if he's going to be a winner. And I, I have to, I, we, we've got to, we got to watch this, guys. This thing is crazy. In fact, I, I, I got to pour me a little little taste to go with this one because this is a club Shay Shay. If I could smoke a cigar inside the house, I'd smoke a cigar here and just hang out. But let's listen in. The Cowboys are in a very precarious situation because they find themselves in a very similar situation to where they were four years ago. Mm -hmm. Dak Prescott going into the final year of his contract. Yeah. That time they 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 franchised and made the play on a franchise tag. Thought about franchising again, give him a long term deal. So here we are again. Here we are again. What is it that Dak needs to do? What is it that Dak hasn't done to convince the Cowboys? Because clearly they're not convinced. Because Jerry said it after. We're only going to go as far as Dak carries us. And this was as far as he could carry us. Uh -huh. What are you seeing from Dak? What's, what's going on with Dak? What's going on with the Cowboys offense that in big games, he doesn't play his best? This message is to uh, Dak Prescott. We looking for that motherfucking dog. And I don't think Jerry Jones will allow him to become that. Because mm. you got to be politically correct. You got to be the, almost the president of football almost to be the signal caller for the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. What Dallas Cowboys need at that at, at that quarterback position is somebody say, no, nah, fuck that. He ain't lying. <laughs> this is my shit. This is what we going to do. I, I hear all that. But we're trying to win. We're trying to win, yes or no. Okay, cool. Now unleash me and let me win this football game. Mm. That type of aura, I don't think that can be that. No, because Jerry wants to win his way. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So those are going to be very combative forces that I don't know if they can get to that next level. I know a guy that played quarterback that didn't win nearly as much. Dak probably has won more playoff games than him, and he never had to worry about a contract. The guy that Dak Come on, uh. came after. Ooh. That's what I'm saying. I, I, I mean, did, am I Damn. missing? For the people. That, that, was, Damn now. Keeping it a buck now. Who you, you went talking there about? With so, uh, so, so the people that know. All I know is Tony Romo was made the highest paid quarterback in football with no Super Bowl, mm. no uh, NFC Championship game, mm. no first team All Pro, no mm. second team All Pro. Mm. He, ain't he ain't never had to worry about a contract. And when he's done oh. playing, he gets a deal <laughs> that nobody else gets. <laughs> So what oh, are we really man. talking about? So you want Cam Newton to to, to shut up and and, <laughs> and, and and sit back when I'm telling y'all that this is ain't there's different rules for different people. Yes. When I can sit up here and say, hold on, easy, there's a slant coming. Hey, watch the pressure. Hey, watch this and watch that. As a as an athletic quarterback, you don't get enough credit. You think Lamar Jackson 
has been as successful as he is by him not understanding the 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 football game and how people are going right. to try to play him. Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, these athletic quarterbacks. Come on now. Mm. You you said like Okay, Romo got what he got when he played, and then he goes out and he becomes color of CBS, gets this long-term deal. The prime time game. He yeah. ain't... Oh, yeah, he's number one. He's number one. I'll take another guy who I have a whole bunch of respect for and call me biased. Greg Olson. Yeah. Greg Olson didn't get that deal. So it can't be no black and white thing. It's just like, yo, how? Why? How did he get that? Right. You want to call games? Man, I want the money. I figure everything else. I, <laughs> yeah, shit, I asked hey, you a question like about that. damn. What, what made you get into Le Portier? Yeah, it's a good shit. You realize that you could become a billionaire. Shit, we'll figure all the other rest of the stuff out later. I ain't no different. You, Cam, do you want to call game? Nope. Shit, we're gonna give you thirty million dollars a year. Shit. No, but you can't go, Cam. You can't go in there and say no. You got yes. I would love to call games. Well, yeah, I love to call. <laughs> what that contract look like? We're gonna give you seven hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah, all right, I'm good where I'm at. I mean, they probably. They, I mean, it, it all depends on where you call them. You call them the, the, you know, you the number one slot or the number two slot. Number one slot, you know, is here. Man, you got to know who you are. You see what I'm saying? You take you take certain people from certain wow. situations, and that situation ain't the same. My point. Period. Undisputed ain't been the same since Shannon Sharp moonwalked up out of there. Shannon Sharp gonna be straight. Yeah. Now, Skip, why them ratings ain't what they are now? Oh, it was because of you. No. You gotta figure out, you gotta know who you are, bro. You, you do, can, but I think the thing is, is that we this are not gonna get allowed here. to start at the top. You start in the mail room, and then mm -hmm. you're gonna start carrying the mail. And yeah. then you're going to work your way up to before you get to the penthouse. You're not going to the penthouse. You have to understand that. And see, I, once, see, you can be good at any game oh, if you understand man. the rules and how to play the game. I understand that. And I'm exposing that. <laughs> so, so you do me a favor. Okay. Mm, this is You go hard. back to the introduction. Yeah. And you give that resume. Yeah. And you put that on Dan Orlovsky. This is true. And see if he don't become... Get the number one slot up. Yeah, hello. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I understand do. what the rules are. Yes. I'm just here to expose it. Like your constituent Cat Williams said, I'm just here to collect information. <laughs> and wow. I'm just here to report it. Don't get mad that I'm reporting what I've obviously oh. seen was wow. to be true. And what, what everybody else knows, they just don't say it. Correct. So you're going to make me the bad guy? Be wow. Shout out to Club Shay Shay. That's got Cam Newton, who is dropping a truth bomb on Jerry Jones and some words of advice for Dak Prescott. Is it that Dak Prescott's too nice and not going in there and saying, you know, hey, everything's cool, whatever you guys say, that maybe he should be saying, get me some mother effing linemen, get me a legitimate running back like Derrick Henry, get me another wide receiver. Get your shit together and be a damn dog. Um, I've kind of said something similar to that, that if I'm Dak Prescott, that right now I got the juice. I got the juice. And maybe he has gone in there and said, listen, we don't know how this is going. Because, see, some of y'all have the attitude that, you know, poor little Dak Prescott, if he don't play for the Dallas Cowboys, poor Dak, he, he's going to be out the league. Nothing can be further from the truth. He going to get paid, whether it's here in Dallas or someplace else. Now, where I would like to see him win a Super Bowl is in Dallas. I would just like to see the Cowboys win a Super Bowl. But until Jerry Jones stop this bullshit that we're going to do more with less and penny pension and hearing that, that, well, we can't do this and we can't do that. There's restraints. You know what? <laughs> I remember. See, I, I, I'm, some people like to refer to me as OG, okay, OG. I like to think of it as old guy. When I say I'm old, see, a lot of y'all take it the wrong way, okay? And by that, you say, you're not old. No, yes, actually, I am old, which means I have seen a lot of things in my life. I have seen 
than walk on the moon. And do you think when we decided we were going to go to the moon that we said, well, there's restraints. We can't spend money on, you know, like suits. No. If you want something done, you got to bust your ass and it's going to cost you. It's going to cost you. And until the Dallas Cowboys realize that shit, that Jerry Jones, who's been doing shit his way, he's great at making money, but he sucks. Sucks when it comes to winning football. There you go, guys. Mm, 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 mm. That rum is delicious. The only thing I missed was I should have had that round ice cube from downstairs in the fridge, but I didn't know the shit was going to get that deep. As always, I appreciate you guys. Peace out.